Hey everybody, welcome back to Wine on RV. Today we're gonna to go ahead and repack these wheel bearings. If you just bought a new RV or you bought a used RV, one of the first things you should probably do is grease up your wheel bearings because you just never know the last time it was done. Even if it came brand new from the factory, you don't know how much grease the, the, uh, the factory put in there. From a lot of the bearings that I've seen brand new out of the factory floor, they do not have a lot of grease in there. So go ahead and look into that and maybe it's time to grease your bearings right off the bat. First thing you need to do is go ahead and get these wheels off. We're going to go ahead and loosen up the lug nuts. Now we've busted all the lug nuts loose, we're going to go ahead and jack this side up so we can take the wheels off. All right, now we got our wheels off, we're going to go ahead and take off our dust covers for the uh, grease or for the bearings. So we just need a small hammer to go ahead and knock this off nice and gently. I literally was just telling my dad I had dreams that this would happen. I did not know, uh, and there was no way of knowing until you go to take everything off. If you have easy lube greased bearing, uh, which I do, meaning that there's a there's a zerk fitting right on here. I'll show you that here in a bit. Uh, and this little rubber seal pops off your dust cover. So you can just hook the zerk up, pump the new grease through. And uh, so we're gonna show you what that process looks like because originally we were gonna be repacking these bearings by hand and now we don't have to do that. We're just gonna clean everything up in here and repack them through the Zerk fitting. So you can see on here, this little Zerk fitting right there. And uh, right on the, the cap was this rubber gasket that says Easy Lube. And that's what you look for to know if you have a, a Zerk fitting underneath. And now I can just hook up a grease gun to it and we're just going to pump it all out and old grease is going to come out through the sides and once i see the new grease start to come out then it's good we're going to go ahead and put it back in. the old grease starting to come out here as we pump in the new stuff and it is you can see what color it's supposed to look like and what color the old stuff is so that's what we have to wait on we just got to keep pumping this until we get a nice bright fresh red grease come through <laughs> I got real tired of uh, trying to use my grandpa's old grease gun and uh, not really having the right or, or enough grease. So I went to the store, picked up new tubes of this. Um, from what I understand online, you know, it's about one tube per axle or per, per bearing. So we're gonna go ahead and do one full tube all the way through uh, and just let it cycle all the way out. So let's go ahead and open up this new grease gun. Now we got our grease gun ready to go. We're gonna head and fold this all the way back. Go ahead and get this open. And pop the top like a soda can. Now it's all on. I'm gonna release that pressure. And uh, I think this has an automatic bleed bleeder valve. Let me check the instructions because I think this is supposed to be some kind of bleeder valve. But either way, what you wanna do is you wanna pump the air out of the line so you give it some pumps until you get grease. Now this is 
ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna I'm gonna redo this bearing completely just because that other grease was old. I don't really know how old it was. I'd rather just use all brand new stuff. And you know, it's only five dollars for a tube of grease, so I'd rather just repack the thing. So we're gonna go ahead and get that going. You want to go ahead and be turning the wheel while you're doing this because you want the grease to get all throughout every single part of the wheel or part of, uh, all throughout the bearing. A lot of people leave their wheels on, more leverage, easier to turn obviously and you see what I'm doing but I'm going to be replacing my shackles here as well so that's why I took my wheels off. thing is freaking stuck. I can't get it off. Just because nothing I've done on YouTube ever goes as perfectly as planned when you're doing it at home, my grease gun is freaking stuck on this thing. So I went ahead and took a peek on YouTube to see a, a method of taking it off. And they say that if you can disconnect your fitting from your hose, it will really help because it'll relieve the pressure of the suction. So we're gonna try that out right now. And then there it is. So there's, there's your easiest method. If you ever get a Zerk fitting or a grease gun stuck on a Zerk fitting, just loosen this nut up enough and it will uh, relieve the pressure. And then boom, you saw it just slid right off. Now that we're back in business, I'm gonna go ahead and take my rubber seal, pop this back on here. We're gonna clean this up and move to the next one. We're gonna reload this gun. So now we're gonna go ahead and reload this. We're gonna take this off. Get our old tube out. New tube. Once it's in, go ahead and pop your little cap, peel it back. And now we're ready to go on to the next wheel. So a new tube of grease, you gotta go ahead and prime the gun. That's it for this week's episode. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.